Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review. And today, I have an incredibly cool product. It's an HDMI to audio extractor and converter. This product essentially will strip the audio component from any HDMI media stream and then convert that to both analog and digital audio that you can pass along to a digital soundbar or an analog home stereo system for the best possible audio quality. Now, before we get too deep into the review of the product, I always like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the audio converter. I'll show you how to use it. I'll come back and do a short demonstration. And then I'd like to point out a few things that really separate this product from a lot of other similar products on the market so you can make an informed decision. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open the package, you'll find the audio extractor. You'll also find a power cable. This is a standard USB-A to micro USB cable. You can plug the USB-A end into any USB wall charger, and the other end is a micro USB which plugs into the audio converter, and that's all the power you'll need to operate it. They also include a few connection cables. This is an HDMI cable that you can use to connect it up to your HDMI source. And they also include an analog output cable, which is a three and a half millimeter here to two RCA connectors. This is used with some of the older stereos where you can plug the three and a half millimeter into the audio converter and the two RCA plugs into the inputs on your stereo. Pretty much everything you need to get started is included with the kit. Now, what does this product really do? Essentially, if you've got an HDMI media stream and your TV or your monitor or whatever you're using doesn't have an audio output, it can be tricky to actually take that audio from that small speaker in your monitor and pass that along to a soundbar or your home stereo system, again, for better quality audio. This product will do that automatically for you. Now, what's nice about this is there's no drivers required. It doesn't require any updates or firmware, none of that nonsense. You essentially plug this in in line with the HDMI signal. So you're gonna plug your source in here and you're gonna plug your monitor in here. And then this will actively watch that HDMI media stream that comes through, extract the audio component from it, and it's gonna convert it again to an audio signal or a digital signal that you can output if you've got a sound bar that's got an SP diff or a coaxial optical, you can pass it to that through the digital connection. If you have an older stereo that only accepts analog inputs, you can pass it to that as well. So it gives you sort of a Swiss army knife of connections you can use to pass that audio along to external devices. And the best part is, both of those outputs are active at the same time. So you can use a sound bar and a home stereo if you want at the exact same time. The last thing I'll talk about with this product is the fact that it actually has a micro USB power connection. And that's really important because a lot of these units use a standard wall connection with a proprietary cable. The fact that this has a micro USB connection on it and it operates off of five volts means that you can plug this into your media equipment. You don't have to worry about an external power supply. If your monitor or your media gear has a USB-A port on it, you can plug this in. It draws so little current that you won't even notice it. So it just saves you a little bit of a headache trying to find that extra wall outlet that's open behind your TV. You can plug it right into your TV and be set to go. All right, if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is take a closer look at the unit to explain the connections and indicators so you understand exactly how to use it. And then I'll come back and do a brief demonstration, again, to show you how easy it'll be to use it with your own equipment at home. Inside the kit, you'll find an HDMI cable. Now, when you connect this up in your system, you're gonna disconnect the HDMI cable from your monitor and plug it in here. And you'll need a second HDMI cable to connect this back to your monitor. I think it's great they thought of that and actually included an HDMI cable with this product to make it really simple to connect it up. You'll also find a power cable. And like I'd mentioned, this is a USB-A to micro USB. And you can plug this end into any standard wall charger. The micro USB plugs into the unit and that's all the power you'll need to operate the product. You also have the option of plugging this into any available USB-A port on your media equipment and eliminating that power supply. Finally, there's an audio cable included which is the three and a half millimeter stereo cable to RCA. And this is great if you're connecting it up to a home stereo system that uses an RCA connection. And again, I think it's really nice that they've included the cable because these can be a little tricky to find and they can be fairly expensive. So you have all the cables you need to make the connections to your media equipment and your monitors. You'll also find a full instruction manual, which includes connection diagrams in different languages, specifications, other things you'll need to understand about the product to use it correctly. Now the HDMI to audio converter and extractor is pretty straightforward. It's got a nice aluminum case, which is unusual. A lot of these have plastic cases. The reason the aluminum is important is because it makes it incredibly durable for starters. And second, it helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the electronics inside. Now on the one end, you'll find all your inputs. That's the HDMI input port, and that connects up to whatever media device you'd like to pull the audio from the HDMI stream. There's the power port. You'll use the cable that I showed you a minute ago. Plug the micro USB end in here. Plug the other end into an available USB-A port or a charger. The minute you do that, the unit starts an internal power on self-test. When it finishes that test, that LED will come on, letting you know the unit's ready to use. 
On the left is an audio selection switch. You can pass the audio through it and not do the conversion. You can put it in two channel mode, which is gonna provide stereo analog, or you can put it in 5.1 channel mode, which is gonna provide digital output. On the other end is where your output connections are made. That's the HDMI output port. You'll connect that up to the monitor. So essentially this goes in series with your media device and your monitor. When you make that connection, the LED will come on letting you know you have a solid HDMI connection. Then you have two output ports right here, two options. The SP diff is a Toslink connection if you have a digital amplifier. The audio out is an analog connection and you can use the cable that's included, the three and a half millimeter plugs in here, and you have two RCA connections you can make to your stereo. And it really is just that simple to connect it. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll do a short demo. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use the HDMI to audio extractor and converter with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a monitor with a small media player that's currently looping a video that has audio on it, but the monitor can't play that audio. Over here I've got an analog amplifier and a digital amplifier in the form of a sound bar. Both of these are my output devices. In front of me I have the HDMI to audio extractor. Now the first set of connections I'll make are from the media player to the extractor, and I'll disconnect the cable from the media player to the monitor and plug that into the HDMI input port on the extractor. And now I'll add power. I've already plugged the power supply into a USB charger. I've got a micro USB connection right here, which plugs into the back of the unit. Now, once I've added power to the unit, you'll see the red LED come on. It's going through a power on self-test right now where it's analyzing the HDMI media stream and starting to extract that audio. And now I can connect this back up to the monitor so I can continue to enjoy that video. And I'll need a second cable to do that. There is one included with the kit. I'll plug one end into the extractor and the other end into the back of the monitor right here. And then the video will come back on the monitor, but I still don't have audio. But at this point, all I'm doing is passing the HDMI through the extractor back to the monitor. And now I'm ready to connect up my amplifiers. This is an analog version. So if I tap the end of this, you'll hear it. Hear that hum? <laughs> it's definitely an analog amplifier. I'll plug that into the three and a half millimeter port and there's your audio. Now that's pretty amazing when you think about it because all I'm doing is connecting this unit in series with the HDMI stream and adding power to it and this unit will extract the audio and convert it to an analog form that can be used with an analog amplifier. Now this could be a home stereo system or an older sound bar. It's anything that will accept two RCA connections or a direct 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter. And now let's try the optical. So I'll disconnect the analog and I'll connect up the digital sound bar. I've got an SP diff connection right here and I'll plug that into the SP diff connection and there you go. Now what's interesting about this and one of the benefits of this product is that both the analog and digital, let me unplug that, both the analog and digital outputs are available at the same time. So you could actually have a newer sound bar that's digital playing and add your older stereo system that's analog at the same time. So if you want to have music all over the room, you can definitely do it with this adapter. And it really is just that easy to get it going. One other benefit I like a lot about this, as I mentioned earlier, is the power connection is a micro USB and it's a standard USB-A on the other end of it, which means I don't really even need a power supply to plug into the wall. If I have a media equipment like this or a piece of media gear like this, or like this media player that has a USB-A port on it, I can use a short cable to here, and that'll supply all the power I'll need to operate the product. Once I get it going, I can drop this down behind my media center, and I've got audio wherever I need it. And it really is just that simple to get it going. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoy doing these kind of reviews, so thank you very much for watching. And until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.